Here's a special drill bit with the floating head. And we have a holder where this head will actually float or articulate off the center. Please notice that the drill has three flutes or one corner less than the square we want to go into. And it's not limited to squares. We also could do a hex if we wanted to. And we would grab a five-sided drill bit for this. Again, because this head will float or articulate, what it does is it allows each one of these points to get into a corner. In other words, there's one less edges on the drill than there is on the square, allowing it to find a corner and drill a square hole. This is the fixture for drilling a square hole, and I'm going to start with a guide for a round hole because the drill bit for the square hole will not be able to find its center. So we're going to start with a pilot hole. We're going to take this guide and set it into this fixture and just hold it down. And then we're going to take a piece of material. In this case, we're just going to take a piece of aluminum and we're going to put it in the side and clamp it into place. And we will drill a starter hole in this drill press. Okay, so we have a hole in this part. If you take a look there, you can clearly see that there is a round hole in this part. Now we will take the guide for the square hole and we will put it into the same location as we have just used for drilling this round hole. And we'll switch out drill bits. Zooming in a little bit, you can see we have the special drill ready to go and again, it will float or articulate on the end of the holder. So we'll just put it down into the guide and we'll turn the drill press on. And what it's going to do is this three-sided drill bit is going to find the corner of this square hole. And we'll just pull it down through the material and it should find all the corners and drill the hole square. You can clearly see it's turning around. So down through the part now what we'll do is we will take the guide off and you can clearly see that that is a square hole. It works really well on soft materials.